Hey and welcome to my DKCTF All Bosses video. In this video I'm just going to give kind of a little brief strategy guide of how to fight and beat each of the six bosses in the game. Uh, so first boss, uh, Big Top Bop. It's kind of in a half pipe, it's pretty simple, just avoid objects that he's throwing out at you. And of course you can do gold hearts on any of these ones if you've got Dixie Kong is a good idea, but they will cough up hearts if you are damaged. Uh, when he slides down, just jump on his back. Oh, it's okay to miss once in a while like that, uh, but you want to hit him like that. Uh, when he comes flying out to the side, only jump on him when he's sideways if he's stunned like that. And you do that, you should be successful in beating a uh, big top bop. After that, uh, the Island 2 boss, Mountaintop Tussle, is a big crazy owl that throws these kind of, uh, I guess they're supposed to be like feather blades at you. Also throws eggs that uh, land on the ground and turn into partially hatched owls. You want to grab those and throw them at him. There's three phases to, attack, to his attack. This is the first one. Uh, you just want to use the platforms on the side to get height and hit him also when he's in the bottom corners of the screen. Phase 2 of the attack, you're up on this hovering platform with the barrels off to the side, and he also does some kind of wind attacks. Uh, just jump on the owls with the shells as they come across the screen, bounce off the other ones, and throw at the height of your jump. Uh, after that, when he does swooping attacks across the lower screen, jump into the barrels at the correct time uh, to fire back out. Same when he throws the feathers. That's the, the way to avoid them. Use the barrels on the sides. They auto-fire you out, so you have to learn the timing. If you do that right, you will move up to the third phase. Here, when he throws the feathers, you want to roll toward and away from him, making sure that you're not in the, uh, I guess, radius of the, uh, where they are going to go. He'll drop down eggs again from the sky, well actually not eggs, just uh, owls. You want to avoid the ones in the viking helmets. Uh, a certain group will stay higher and other ones will drop down, so just move back and forth across the screen accordingly. You want to jump on the ones with the shells very quickly, they don't stay long, and grab those up, use them as he swoops across the screen. He'll change up his attack a little bit in this phase, he'll start to drop these huge eggs from the sky, you just gotta see where the disturbance is kind of occurring at the top of the screen to know where to go. And if you keep doing that, you will be successful in beating the Island 2 boss mountaintop tussle. Third boss is the crazy monkey Triple Trouble. I'm not sure he's some other kind of monkey like a baboon or a chimpanzee. I'm not sure if you know, then please leave it in the comments below. And this uh, boss likes to join into a chain and swing from the sky. There's also kind of three phases to its attack. Um, so swinging with the hammers, avoid the ones with the hammers and then roll into the ones with no hammers during the swinging part of the attack. Uh, you'll have to do this a few times and then we'll move on to attacking with bombs, avoid the spiky bombs, and grab up the melon bombs that they toss and throw those at them. So I was a little too close on that one, just gonna have to wait for the next one. Perfect, he's on the inside, make sure that the guys are on the inside, not the outside of the bars so that you can hit them with the melon bombs. If you do that a few times, then they will turn into this chain with the invisible ones. Rolling into the invisible ones doesn't seem to do much uh, in terms of causing damage. Just avoid them at all costs until they can cough up a melon bomb, throw that at them, and that is the end of Triple Trouble. Heading on to Island 4, uh, Fugu or Fugu, however you pronounce it, face off, uh, is a big bloated spiky fish who likes to blow in and out. So when he's blowing out, you want to swim towards him, and when he sucks in like this, swim away from him. If you get sucked into his face, you will take damage. If you get blown out to the outer sides where you see those kind of shellfish, uh, you will take damage as well. Just roll into his back when it's exposed like that, 
and just keep avoiding being sucked in and blown out. He'll start to put obstacles which you can pound into him, these green fish. Uh, he also will at times draw his spikes in where you can just roll into him. Uh, he will too also grow huge like this, just swim under him when he's at the top of the screen and over him when he's at the bottom. He'll sink and rise slowly trying to get you, but you can avoid him. He'll also spit out spiky bluefish, don't hit those, just roll into him when you get the chance and you should be able to beat the Island 4 boss Fubu face off. From there we fight a big polar bear in punch bowl, just wait for him to swing this hammer, it'll get stuck in the ice and you just jump onto the back of it and then onto his head. He keeps falling off into the river of punch and coming back out. Uh, he does that kind of slowly, but he also does aerial attacks, just look for the snowflakes falling to know where he's going to come from. He drops ice blocks down, you just want to keep jumping over these, you can pound on the ones that have bombs or hearts in them as needed, and just throw those at him. Just keep kind of doing a lot of these aerial attacks and when he lands uh, eventually there'll be these kind of ice waves coming off and you don't get hit by those make sure to jump over them. Okay, he's also going to start up to uh, ice blocks fall just make sure to get up on top of them like I did not do there. <laughs> You can only jump on the ones that are too high, so if there's ones that are three high, jump off the one that's too high and then onto the one that's three high. When he's dazed at the corner of the screen, you can always jump on him, of course. And just keep avoiding him falling from the sky. Some more of his ice waves to avoid. Just jump on the blocks that are too high. Just keeps going repeating over and over like this. Same kind of obstacles with the ice blocks and him sliding. He's dazed right there. He's gonna cough up a heart for me. Okay, and final thing right here. That's it. So basically with him it's just avoid everything falling from the top. You can only jump on ice blocks too high. Okay, right here, the final boss of the game, uh, Island 6's Volcano Dome. So this guy was in the movie at the beginning, you can tell he was pretty much the final boss the way that they portrayed him. And right here you're going to fight him in the volcano itself, the top of it was all frozen under the viking ship that's visible on the map. Okay, in the background he will shoot out a bunch of uh, iced up penguins just jump on them and what you have to do is throw them at him in that background. Um, this doesn't actually make him take damage but when you do it successfully it will draw him into the foreground where you can fight him. Okay so there it is and there are three phases to this attack as well so once he comes over you have to hit him on the back three times he will keep charging across the screen you just gotta get him three times and nice so now he's gonna get all angry and he's going to jump at us so you just gotta roll off of the little panel that you're on you can see how it's all divided up there and avoid getting hit as soon as he starts jumping just roll away from where you are and then he jumps three times and then heads to the background now he's going to start shooting up these like ice birds or ice dragons, so just watch where they're falling from the screen and just keep moving to where they've just hit. They don't hit in the same place twice in a row. Okay, and then draw him back out into the foreground after he shoots more penguins. And you will knock all of these up in the air, just the wiggling ones will fall first, so avoid being on the first to fall, and then jump over to them after they've resurfaced. If you hit the lava, you will automatically die, so don't do that. Okay, and then he'll keep shooting these kind of ice dragons across, the ones with the wings up you go under, the ones with the wings down you jump over. 
and then he's just gonna keep charging each phase of the three phases of attack you just have to jump on his back three times and then that's it for beating the island six boss volcano dome uh, thanks for watching my video if you like it click the like button if you want to see more please subscribe